Hey you, what is going on? Happy Thursday, and I am so excited, beautiful sunny San Diego, to be talking to you today about your wealth mindset as an entrepreneur. Today is day four, and we today are talking about being a grown-up about your moolah, about your money. So the last couple days, we've been talking about some really cool things. Day one, we discussed rich people are. So how we see rich people. What's going on, Sonella? So whoever's here, go ahead, comment below. Hit like, hit the love button so I know that you can hear me, number one. I want to make sure that you can hear me. So hit the like button, hit the love button, and we'll get rocking and rolling. So day one, we talked about rich people are. So how we relate to other people who have money, how we are attracting other people who have money, and being in that vibration even of what it's like to have wealth and abundance, especially as an entrepreneur, and to have financial abundance specifically. So that was day one. Day two, we discussed the law of reciprocity. The law of reciprocity, which is simply the idea that as I give, as I take in a breath, I must also exhale. So giving and receiving, giving and receiving. And so as I create a void, there then has to get filled in. That void must be filled that is the law of reciprocity. So that was day two, and especially as an entrepreneur, that's huge because when we give and we create that void, the possibility of there being money coming in is even greater. It's even larger because if we're a nine to fiver, it's really clear the amount of money that's coming in. It's very, um, every month we know that there is this amount of money coming in so we can budget for it, all those things. There are sometimes cool other special ways that money can come in. Hey love, I see my love on here, hitting the love, hitting the like button. And But as an entrepreneur, it's even greater the ability for us to have the law of reciprocity. So I wanna thank my, uh, my mentor, Siobhan, for a lot of the wisdom and inspiration on this one. And yesterday we talked about money is. Money is dot, dot, dot. So our relationship specifically to money, to the, to the actual energy of what money is. And so today we are talking about what it is to be a grown-up about money, right? So here's the, here's the idea, is that as we're kids... Our parents are constantly passing off the baton to us. They're passing off the baton of pooping, right? Like, you got that covered, son or daughter, right? Like, you're like, cool, mom, got it, thank you, don't need your help anymore, (laughs) right? So we figured that one out, right? And at some point, our parents were like, hey, this is how you clean the bathroom, or like, hey, this is how you take care of uh, your room, right? You clean up your room. So they, that baton got passed off to us, right? So we became a grown-up in that moment, in that particular area. Mom and dad passed it off, and we accepted that baton. Now, here's the interesting thing, is that for some of us, and myself included, I'm raising my hand with you, we did not take the baton of money from our parents. Fascinating right? Fascinating is that we may have not picked up the baton from our parents about finances, including organization, including systems around our money, especially as entrepreneurs. There is the excitement and the mentality that I have freedom, right? That it's like, yeah, buddy, we're living a free life. That's so exciting, right? The freedom that comes with that. And sometimes there can also come free spending that comes with that without the consideration or the structure around that free ability to spend money, right? So what I want to say to you today is becoming a grown-up around money. Uh, Chances are you may have not had that baton passed to you or you may not have picked it up from your parents. So to really own and take full responsibility for our money and for the way that our money is coming in and the way that it's being handled as we have that money. So uh, the biggest thing that a lot of entrepreneurs do is especially getting started and the wealth mindset around this is that no one is coming to save you. 
I'm going to say that again. No one is coming to save you. And that is what a lot of us want. A lot of us are hoping, you know, that someday some fairy tale magical thing will come and sweep us off our feet or that big thing will happen or we'll land that big client or we'll do X, Y, Z, right? And that can happen and that's amazing. But chances are if you don't change your mindset to being responsible for that money and really honoring that money as it's coming in, chances are it's probably not going to stick around for very long. So the real true work here is to be fully responsible for the money that you bring in. And and I'm not going to say that that means being debt free at all. In fact, what I'm going to actually say is that the money and the choices that you make with that money that you're owning and are responsible for that same concept that we talked about, that as you're giving, you're receiving, as you're giving, you're receiving, and that you're fully aware of that principle and that you're living that in action. There's the beautiful ocean back there. I love it. I love being able to see the ocean from where I live. It's so damn cool. So with that being said, that is the concept today is being a grown up around money. And again, doesn't mean you have to be a grown up in the cranky, horrible, sad way that some of us see grown ups, right? Some of us are like, I want to play all day. That's cool. You can play all day, but to still have responsibility and structure around the way that you are maintaining your financial life, okay? So with that said, that is day four of Wealth Mindset for Entrepreneurs. Now I am excited to do a gift for you that I've done the last three days as well, and I wanna offer to you is while it is hot right now, and as the comments are pouring in, and as the personal messages pour in here, I am going to be offering for the first three people that reach out, and the people that I've been talking to have been getting already tremendous results. It's been really exciting, actually, just doing these little 15-minute segments with people and what's shifting for them. So I'm going to allow for 15 minutes of my time to discuss your finances, to discuss your wealth mindset and what is potentially blocking you from having the financial wealth and the financial mindset that you are looking for. So with that, sending you so much love today and I will talk to you tomorrow for day five where I'm going to give you a hint. We're going to be talking about debt. Better stay tuned. It's going to be a lot of fun. Talk to you tomorrow. Peace.